Oh friends, I am sharing this with a huge pit in my stomach. Oof. I learned a really hard lesson this weekend. One that, well, left a bit of a wake of turmoil that sadly involved more than just me. If I have one tragic flaw in this life, and let's be honest, I have many, um, but my greatest and most foghorn in the night, blatantly obvious weak spot is that I am a people pleaser to my absolute core. A bend over backwards, don't rock the boat, please allow me to give you my other cheek to slap people pleasing addict. It played a huge role in my development of anorexia in high school as I believed my worth was performance based and I can thank my childhood actor roots for that. But um, though I'm not in that place anymore, one of the ways it has continued to manifest is that I absolutely hate disappointing people. I despise it. I will do anything and everything to avoid letting people down, including to my detriment, avoiding conflict at any and all cost. And while well, that finally caught up to me this weekend. Ugh. I mean, I've shared about this before. I mean, I had two bouquets of beautiful roses rotting in my apartment for weeks because I didn't face the music right away. And fast forward the clocks another month and I find myself in another situation where my people pleasing tendencies have actually resulted in someone else being pretty hurt by my lack of honesty. Long story short, I ran into an old flame and because of my lack of backbone and unwillingness to upset anyone, I agreed to go on a date this week, even though I did not want to go. Anyway, yesterday when he followed up about this upcoming date, I had to tell this terrific, upstanding gentleman that I just wanted to be friends. And not only that, but that I have feelings for someone else. Ouch. Ugh, my stomach is dropping just thinking about it. I mean, I was then consequently unfollowed on social media and not given a response. And yeah, I deserved that. Um, but I was talking with my parents about it and of course they were dropping all of the wisdom on me. And my dad, he texted me and he said, honestly, he would have been hurt less had you told him sooner. There's a lesson here. Truth hurts, but it is better sooner rather than later. Yeah. Truth hurts, but it is better sooner rather than later. My dad is absolutely right. I mean, by avoiding dealing with the situation, I ended up making matters worse and actually making it harder in the end. I mean, even though for me during those weeks, the situation was out of sight, out of mind, for the other party involved, there were emotions being invested and hopes being drummed up and that was not fair to him. I was a coward because I didn't want to disappoint him. Unfortunately, I can't say that this is the first or second or fifth time this has happened. I mean, you'd think I'd have learned by now. I mean, every time I sit here with this gut punch, I'm a horrible person feeling in my stomach and vow never to do it again, but then the moment arises when I should really speak with honesty and deliver some tough news, and I revert to those same terrible habits and actually hurt the other person in the process. My mom texted me later and she said, it's not always possible to please. God forgives us and tells us that honesty is the only thing that's right. Honesty is the only thing that's right. Ding, 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 my mother as per usual is right on the money. We are called to speak the truth in love growing in every way more and more like Christ. That's from Ephesians 4.15. A task <laughs> easier said than done. I mean, 
honesty is always the best policy. My parents drilled that into my head since I was a child. Honesty, when spoken gently, is kind, is empowering, is freeing, and it follows Christ's example. I wasn't always this cowardly. I mean, I remember this one time in high school, this sweet guy had a crush on me and I just wasn't interested. And it was after one of my soccer games, which he had come to see and he was waiting for me after the game and tried to give me this big hug. And I literally stopped him, stuck out my hand and said, I'm flattered, but a handshake will do. <laughs> I mean, talk about savage, right? But, you know, actually it wasn't. In that moment, sure, it was a little, a lot awkward, but he got the message loud and clear and was able to move forward and invest his emotional energy elsewhere. But more than that, I stood up for my feelings and advocated for myself. I'm not a little girl anymore. I can't write off these communication errors as cute or excusable any longer. I'm a strong woman. I am capable of honest, intentional dialogue that, yeah, may disappoint people. But in the end, it's better to be honest now than to have to deal with a complicated and completely avoidable emotional mess later. So, to the man I hurt, I want to apologize again. I need to start practicing honest communication because I can't please everyone. And trying to do so only ends up hurting everyone involved, which is ironic, isn't it? So, thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you want to follow me over on Instagram, I would greatly appreciate it. It's at Beauty Beyond Bones, or you can catch me on my blog. So, have a great day. Let's be honest about art.